Hi friends, uh, this is Andy from TechStore and in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest HP AC series of laptops. Now this is the successor of the R series laptops, the entry level laptops that HP had and uh, they have done a wonderful job on uh, upgrading the R series into the AC series the way it is. So there are three color variants, uh, one is a jack black they call it, uh, it's, it's an entirely black edition. The another one is white silver which is having a white uh, uh, color to it and a natural turbo silver. So we will be reviewing uh, the AC series, the black one and the silver one, the turbo silver one we will be showcasing in this video and uh, the white one we will have another video made for that. To start things up, uh, let us start with the battery, as you can see this is a 4 cell lithium ion battery, uh, they have changed the design a little bit uh, because the earlier 4 cell lithium ion design was very pathetic, it used to come off, so it is a good thing. Uh, the power ratings of this particular battery are, it is a 2.6 uh, 70 mAh battery, it's a lithium ion battery, and it will give you a comfortable battery backup of around uh, 4 hours. Adapter is uh, same HP adapter that they have continued, and uh, the power ratings are 19.5 volts and 3.3 ampere, 3.33 amperes. It's a 65 watt adapter that HP has, and it has got the L pin connector. So this is the way the turbo silver variant looks like, uh, as you can see it's got the same rounded edges, it's got this beautiful diamond textured uh, finish all over on the top panel. The earlier R series were uh, not very nicely designed in terms of the finishing, this gives you a real premium uh, look actually. The feel of this uh, HP AC series is uh, very very premium, so this is the silver uh, variant the way the black variant looks like. Uh, same textured, diamond textured finish all over and uh, rounded edges. Looks very neat and very premium. All the other things are absolutely the same uh, in terms of IO ports and uh, the hard drive, RAM, everything. The top panel and the interior uh, finish changes. This is the top panel of the two. The first one was uh, turbo silver and this one is a jack black. This is the maximum tilt angle as you can see. Uh, maximum tilt angle is no more than 130 degrees as you can see. But uh, pretty decent if you compare the Lenovo's and the Dell that are available. So the turbo silver will have this kind of finish. And the jack black will have this entire thing black. This is the way laptop looks once opened up, uh, this is the turbo silver uh, variant uh, and uh, looks pretty upright, uh, most of the HP laptops look this upright but it does not have an anti glare display unlike the AB series which uh, HP has replaced uh, the pavilion series with. So this uh, thing that was expected here was an anti glare display but uh, that's fine, it's, it's got a glare display to it. So this is the way the turbo silver uh, looks when it's opened, this is the keyboard layout area, the palm rest area, but this beautiful metallic uh, imprint design inside, again it has got uh, a seamless touch pad uh, on the palm rest area. There are Core i3 variants, Core i5 variants and Core i7 variants that will be there in this AV series. In full size uh, chiclet keyboard, no backlit keys. This entire design is continued uh, over here, absolutely. Looks strikingly premium. This is the way the jack black variant looks like, uh, completely black, unlike the turbo silver which had a silver finish on the inside. This is having an entirely black finish and we will get it up close for you. This is the way the inner uh, palm rest area looks like and it's got a very nice imprint design finish matte finish uh, with, with a good amount of texture to it looks very decent very premium finish whatsoever there's this little dent in the entire area for accommodating the keyboard the touchpad is the touchpad is having two different uh, clicks so that's a good thing it's got nicely seamlessly integrated into the palm rest area actually if you there's no sort of uh, depression between the two areas here, so very nicely designed, it's 
got a full size uh, chiclet keyboard it does not have uh, backlit keys uh, absolutely no backlit keyboard this is the power button here this part here is having a stone crust finish if you can see unlike the textured finish which finishes over here so this is the way the left uh, panel looks so let me get it up close for you the charging pin connector uh, the charging pin indicator a heat dissipation vent area pretty small one uh, not very large it, it gets uh, smaller from here to here as you can see and there's no dissipation from here as well you've got this glossy finish here you've got ethernet hdmi you have uh, one usb 3.0 port and uh, another usb 2.0 port over here headphone and mic combi jack then again rounded finish nothing absolutely in the front on the right uh, you have two indicators one is the hard drive indicator one is the charging pin connector uh, power indicator and uh, memory card reader area you have another USB 2.0 so one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0's you have a DVD writer bay here Kensington lock this again is having a glossy finish the rear there is absolutely nothing and the base uh, you have this rudder over here and then the speaker grill is over here uh, good speaker quality we will showcase it uh, later in the video so no way you can just uh, it's got a unibody design so it's not very easy to upgrade the ram and hard drive we'll be having a video uh, uploaded for that the good improvement is the battery there is absolutely no it does not move uh, the earlier R series uh, the battery fitment was not all that great then there is this uh, very nicely placed rudder over here and over here which give it a good elevation the base is having a stone crush finish as you can see so let me showcase the video quality for you of the web camera the webcam video quality is very decent as you can see absolutely no grains we could not uh, find any grains in the video that we shot and there were absolutely no wavy effects uh, the image that also was shot was of a fairly uh, good resolution so full marks on the camera at the entry level uh, laptop segment this is a very good uh, camera that the company has incorporated let me showcase the audio quality for you the audio quality is very decent uh, it's got DTS certified speakers onto it and uh, let me play it for you good amount of uh, thump from these two speakers uh, fairly good amount of speaker actually so all in all a uh, very good uh, intro by HP just before the festive season starts here in India and uh, to sum it all up uh, this is basically the successor of the entry level HP R series laptops the laptops which were there starting from 25,000 rupees uh, till up to 40-45,000 rupees they are all going to be replaced by this uh, new AC series in the coming days it has 5th gen processors on all laptops but for AC042TU which has a 4th gen Core i3 processor it comes in 3 variants uh, Jack Black, Turbo Silver and White Silver we already reviewed the Jack, Sil Jack Black and Turbo Silver for you White Silver we will be getting it hands on and we will be reviewing it in another video it's got this uh, beautiful textured diamond uh, pattern finish it's got a 4 cell lithium ion battery it gives you an excess of 4 hours backup the resolution uh, maximum is 1366 into 768 it does not have a full HD resolution neither does it have anti glare it has got normal uh, glare display it's got uh, version 4.0 bluetooth uh, Wi-Fi is 802bgn it's got two memory slots so you can upgrade the ram up to 16 gb ddr3l1600 megahertz the weight is around 2.14 kg is pretty slim as slim as the hp r series it's got uh, Intel 440 at this point of time uh, the graphic card uh, based laptops have still not arrived on this series we will come to know only later we will keep you updated in the video itself it's got DTS audio and uh, it's got dual speaker uh, in the front so you can buy this laptop on our website uh, techstore.co.in thanks a lot for watching guys do let us know your comments suggestions and do not forget to subscribe to us thank you so much